Thanks, Zach. Well, as we saw last week on Faith and Friends, summer swim teams are a great way for kids to stay active in June and July. With boys and girls ages 4 to 18 competing, it takes a lot of volunteers to make it all come together. Between practices and meets, the summer swim season would not exist without community involvement. This week's OIO Faith on the Field segment takes us to Ada, where the Spiker family and their four boys are an integral part of the Gators summer swim team. Karen Spiker has grown accustomed to spending her summer evenings at the pool. Our family, we all get to, everybody gets to swim and we all volunteer, so we get to enjoy and watch our kids while they, they're all on the same team. So it really makes a good time for summer evenings, that's for sure. And her boys feel right at home in the water. Pretty much an everyday thing, all, see, all year thing, every day. Swimming with my friends. It keeps me strong and that's why I have these babies right here. <laughs> Those big muscles wouldn't be possible without the hard work of mom and dad who along with other parent volunteers are the backbone of the program. Doing a lot of timing duties, getting volunteers for the swim meets and trying to find people, getting everybody involved and helping to do that. We, we have a pancake breakfast and we um, we get everybody involved and everybody brings stuff to that and we have just have a lot of a lot of fun at the swim meets and everybody works together. Swimming is a great sport. It's really great exercise and they all love the pool so and uh, everybody out here on the Ada swim team are great people. And Spikers are one of those families that you can really count on. You can see just by our swim meet, sometimes we call it organized chaos, and we really need to know where the kids are and where they need to be. Um, Spikers have just stepped up and uh, helped us whenever we need it. This program wouldn't be anything without the parents. I mean, it's parent run, parent operated, everything. I mean, they're just a big help, big portion of the whole community, and it's really a great, great thing to see everyone come together. Logan is just one of a handful of former team members who have moved on to coach and encourage younger swimmers. I started here when I was eight years old, so when the opportunity came, I figured it would be a great opportunity for me to become a coach. So. I help mainly the eight and unders swim, and then I line them up for all their events at the meets and stuff like that. So you always see lots of improvement from day to day, especially, and then the meets, they always do their best. I've swam when I was a kid, and I wanted my kids to swim, and they love the water. We have four different age kids, so instead of having four games at four different places, we can all come here to the pool, and you can, you can watch all four kids swim in the same evening. For my, our family and families like the Spikers, this is what summer's all about. Seeing the kids out here having a good time, getting some exercise. It's just great to be out here and, and, and to be out here in the summer with families and having a, we do have a good time. The summer swim season concluded on July 11th with the WOAL Championship Meet in Wapakoneta. Another successful season is in the books thanks to the hard work of the Spikers and many just like them. And seeing how much the kids enjoy competing in the pool, it's easy to see why the parents put in so much effort. 